got a live stream camera here, it looks like. So you don't want to be in front of that. That's okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. We hope you are enjoying your cocktails, but in the interest of time and sunlight, we're going to get started very shortly. So if you'll take your drinks and make your way to your seats, we're going to have a little bit more music, a little bit more fun before we begin. Thank you.
once again, we're going to go ahead and get started shortly. In so the interest of sunlight we went, only because, time. Uh, we needed to check on the, the kitchen cabinet guy. If all IVRCC board members would take their seats, executive board to the front behind the podium, and board members would reserve seating in the front row. Oh, I didn't even see that. Right.
guy was looking at the counter. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everyone. If everyone would take their seats, we're going to go ahead and get started shortly. In the interest of sunlight and more food and fun, we're going to go ahead and get started a little early. Mayor Beltran. Pretty good. I'm still waiting for you to pull me back. If I could have all the executive board members up here and the board of directors right here in the front. Okay. Thank you. IVRCC staff, if you could head inside real quick so we can do a quick powwow before we get, begin, that would be great. started. Let's have all of our executive board members and our guests of honor take a seat. Sorry. It's okay. So who we're missing. Is Dr. Johnson here from IVC? No? Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started, and I think they'll make their way and as soon as they walk in. So, good evening, everyone. Good evening. And welcome to uh, the official grand opening and ribbon cutting ceremony for 
the Imperial Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce. My name, yes, yes, we can clap. You'll hear uh, in a very uh, pleasant way uh, a picture painted by our regional chairwoman um, and vice president for the chamber, Barry Smith, the history uh, of the regional chamber. Um, but I have to tell you that uh, it has been such a joy uh, to work alongside a fantastic regional committee uh, board executive committee, but most importantly, alongside some dedicated and qualified staff members. So I'd like to recognize them, and I hope you all will uh, applaud as well, because they have worked very hard to make this evening uh, such a joy and a pleasure, and to make sure that we are ready and open for business for our membership. So without further ado, let's recognize our Chief Financial Officer, Vicki Zamora. She's inside, balance in the books, right? Our membership director, Julissa Ayala. Uh, selfish pitch. I didn't say that, I said selfish pitch. Did you hear that? Not the other word, let's say it again. And our fantastic uh, director of sponsorship and events, the reason for this evening, Mia Hernandez. And I think we can all nod our heads and say, without a doubt, whenever we need him, uh, he's there. Our facilities manager and our friend, Luis Miner. And of course, I'm Daniel Sohn, and I uh, stand as the proud chief executive officer for the IVRCC. And so, thank you. Uh, there's a lot of you here, so in the interest of time, we appreciate uh, you all being here. Some of you are here in your elected capacity, in your community capacity, but most of you are our membership. So we're going to do something fun, Red right, President Aragorn. If you're from El Centro, raise your hand and make some noise. Woo! If you're from Imperial, make some noise. Woo! If you are from Westmoreland, make some noise. What am I forgetting? Brawley. Brawley, make some noise! Okay. Calexico, make some noise! <laughs> Heber and Sealy and everything in between. Hopedale, no. make some noise! <laughs> and that's really what this is all about. Um, the regional chamber uh, is a collective of community voices uh, conducting business without borders. We are stronger together and those are the goals and the goals we will achieve are in togetherness. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started. Uh, we're gonna have the presentation of colors uh, presented by the Naval Air Facility here in El Centro. If everyone could please stand. this evening to perform our nation's national anthem, the very talented Dulce Luna. Who's brave? 
red stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the rampart we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled Told you she was talented, right? Wow. And to lead us in prayer uh, on this uh, humble evening, uh, one of our friends to the chamber, Father Mark Edney, St. Mary's Catholic Church. Good evening, everyone. How are you? Hello? Hello. Hello. Oh, I didn't know if you were still there. Um, could you call this a merger? Sure. Okay, I think this, I want to say just, just this. I, I have done that, had nothing to do with this, uh, but I have been praying for it because I think it's the really right thing for our community. And um, I will have to say to Daniel Sai, where do you go? He, he's hiding because I'm in the midst of a merger too, a historic merger of the parishes of Our Lady of Guadalupe and St. Mary's in El Centro. And I, I'm afraid that this program just set my merger back five years because you forgot to say I was pastor at Our Lady. Uh -oh. You have to be. I, I, I didn't say. I, no, you have to be sensitive, right? Um, I really want to um, thank God uh, with you for all um, the people who have worked to make this reality um, for our community in the Imperial Valley. Um, we need business, uh, we need our business families, uh, we need the people they employ. Um, they've had a, a tremendous time in this um, last year and a half or so. Um, so grateful um, that, that the Imperial Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce is going to be here to support us going forward. Let's pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Gracious and Heavenly Father, we. We are so blessed by all that you give us, especially this beautiful weather, finally, um, in our community. And we ask you to bless the Imperial Valley um, Regional Chamber of Commerce and thanksgiving for all the work that's done to bring it to this day. And bless them going forward, especially their leadership, Annie Aguayan and Daniel Son. And bless all of us in this community that we be supportive of local business um, and that we be supportive of one another. Um, let, let this be a sign um, of success from the work of our hands, blessed by you, Lord, in thanksgiving for, and in gratitude for all your gifts to us. And we ask you to continue to help us discern your will in all things for the best of our community. We pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father Mark. Please be seated. Oh, return colors. Mark, Mark, right turn. Retire colors. Thank you, Sean. Forward, Mark. Please be seated. Thank you. And at this time, I'd like to bring up uh, Barry Smith, who serves as Barry Smith Bean, 
excuse me, who serves as our uh, founding vice president, uh, but also was the regional committee chairwoman who has led this effort to give you a little bit of the history of the regional committee and the regional chamber logo. second we've got quite the array of exciting things up here on this table so if you asked a dozen different people about when the idea of a regional chamber began you would probably get a dozen different answers and uh, that's because it's ranged from 25 years ago to 10 years ago to two years ago. The truth is the idea of a regional chamber is something that our businesses and leaders have dreamed about for a very long time. As chambers, we knew we would be stronger together, more efficient, and able to provide greater resources to the business community. As leaders, we were tired of simply talking about working together or stamping our logos on a piece of paper in unity. We wanted to truly work together. In summer of 2019, we took this vision and began building a reality. A regional committee was created, and as the then president of the Westmoreland Chamber of Commerce, I was elected by the other chambers to chair this committee. Henry Ford once said, coming together is a beginning, staying together is progress, and working together is success. Tonight, we celebrate that success. We celebrate the collaboration, compromise, and the committee who dedicated literally thousands of hours to turn an idea of working together into a reality of working together. We celebrate the tremendous leadership that led us to tonight. We celebrate three chambers striving for something bigger than themselves. Unity, community, and business without borders. As a design consultant, it was my honor to sponsor and create the branding of this new entity. It was vital to have our team with a brand that had meaning and our logo to be more than a pretty picture. The Imperial Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce logo represents both our history and our future. The sun is vibrant and bright, reaching for today's success and tomorrow's dreams. The circle layout has seven green field rows and the rectangular layout has seven sun rays. The seven is symbolic in representing the history of Imperial County being formed in 1907. As a regional chamber, we, didn't, we don't represent one city or the lines that divide us. Instead, we represent all cities and the county that unites us. The field represents agriculture as a key pillar of our valley the 500,000 acres of farmland and the farmers and workers whose tremendous work ethic creates food and products for all over the world. Lastly, the three business buildings of different sizes represent all industries, both big and small, in our business community. From the at-home baker to the family restaurant to universities, hospitals, and manufacturing facilities that are still on the horizon, the IBRCC represents all businesses and strives for the success of your business without borders. It has truly been a journey to become a regional chamber of commerce, but we did it. Thank you to all of you for supporting our vision and embracing our leadership that we've put to, in place to make this a possibility. It is now my privilege to introduce the Imperial Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce inaugural president, Ann Aragoyan. I'm just going to take a deep breath for a minute. Um, she's right, it's been a long journey. It really has. I am one of the immigrants to Imperial Valley from Los Angeles, which I consider kind of another country compared to here. Um, I brought, uh, I got married and moved down here and <clears throat> told my husband at the time that if we're going to have children, I want to raise them in Imperial Valley. And I'm so glad I did. 
Not only did we raise our beautiful children in this wonderful valley, but we had the opportunity to build our own business, supported by a community that's here for us and cares for us. It's been a, a long journey with a lot of ups and downs coming to an agreement to make a regional chamber of commerce. It wasn't always easy and not everybody agreed. But what we've come up with is something that all of us can support and we can all be a part of. I'm looking forward. I'm not looking back anymore. I'm not going to talk about what the journey was before we got here. I'm looking forward from today on to include anyone and everyone who would like to be a part of this wonderful organization. We've met with pretty much all the cities in the Valley um, at their request and at ours, and we've had wonderful reception from each of them, and we thank you for that. We were a little nervous and a little insecure, but the outpouring of you can do it from everyone has really helped create this regional chamber. I'm flattered and a little awed that they asked me to be the first president of this chamber. I take that responsibility very seriously. We have a, an open door policy here at the chamber with whatever you need, we will help. I strive towards kindness. Um, I know that sounds kind of simple, but because of what we've been through in the last year and a half, people are a little bit upset and they are a little bit fearful and they are just frustrated. And that doesn't always come out as kind. So I prefer if people don't come to me with horrible stories, but I'm willing to listen. I'm excellent listener on rants and raves, but come and share the joy with us of opening this chamber and embracing the entire valley in the process. Thank you for all of the cities that are here. Um, Dulce, every time you sing the national anthem, I cry because it's so beautiful. And thank you for being a representation of the wonderful youth we have here in the valley. Okay, our youth is what's going to take us forward. We can't forget them and we have to encourage them. Our partnerships are super important. Um, some of you know me and many of you don't, but I sit on quite a few boards around the valley and I do it because I care. So if you, if you see me toting events, you know, like National Philanthropy Day or um, the ICOE Autumn Harvest, and, and I give you information about that, it's because I feel that that program or that fundraiser that we're doing is vital to what we're planning to do for the future of the Valley. So thank you everyone for being here. Thank you especially to our staff and our board members. We have one of the hardest working boards in the Valley. Honestly, please, yes. You'll meet quite a few of them this evening, and if you don't know them, walk up and say hi. But again, if I haven't met you, come up and say hi. I'll try and remember later, although now all of you I associate with this event, and you all have lives of your own, but thank you again for being here and supporting this endeavor, and we look forward to working with each and every one of you. Thank you. Okay, so, he gives me this and I can't, I don't bring my glasses. Okay, so I'm gonna have Daniel stand up here and, and help me with this. So if you, if I call your name, please stand. Okay, because I'm going to introduce you to our inaugural board members. Okay, Barry Smith, Vice President. Michelle Hollinger, Board Treasurer. Sean Wilcox, Secretary. Victor Nava. Oh, Juanita. 
Oh, she's going to come. She's our wonderful representative from Westmoreland. Here she is. Right oh, Juanita. Come on, baby. <laughs> she was with her with her um, kids, so we're good with that. At, I think it's Senior Picture Day. Brenda Estrada. Could you please stand? <laughs> Sherry Cowie. I see you there. <laughs> Lissandra Escobos. Ah, there. <laughs> Rafael. Galvin, yes. Uh, Honorable Christina Cruz. Justina. Justina. Justina Cruz, yes. I, I said I saw her earlier. And Honorable Mark Brandt. And Ephraim, are you here? Ephraim Silva rounds out our board. Thank you. Thank you, Madam President. Okay, it's getting dark. I'm ready for bed. It's been a long day. Um, we This night would not be possible uh, without our inaugural sponsors. And so I'm going to go ahead and list them now and give them all an opportunity to say a few words. Our presenting sponsor for this evening, who's made a fantastic impact and, and commitment to the regional chamber, San Diego State University, Imperial Valley. <laughs> Victoria Holmes. You know them well in Imperial, Victoria Holmes. Imperial Printers. Imperial Gold. Barry Smith Consulting. And of course, the Los Vigilantes. At this time, I'd like to introduce uh, our board treasurer, Michelle uh, Hollinger. Uh, who's going to be uh, doing some introductions uh, of our sponsors. Michelle. Thank you, Daniel. So, what does it mean to be an inaugural sponsor? Um, does it mean going to mixers and chamber events? Does it mean getting business contacts or uh, visibility referrals? Does it mean getting uh, credibility for your business? Well, it does. Does it mean the five-year commitment that an inaugural sponsor gives? Does it mean the monetary value if it's uh, in kind or if it's um, actual $10,000. It is all those things, but I, I think that it's actually more than that. Um, being part of the Imperial Regional Chamber of Commerce and being an inaugural sponsor is a huge honor. It's a huge honor, guys. Um, we actually get to be a part of something so great. And it's not a recognition or a sign. It's not a business card. It's not a mixer. Uh, it's not a wristband. <laughs> it's not any of those things. It's being part of a community. It's being a part of something that's greater, being a part of the whole valley, not just Imperial where I build. I get to be everywhere, right? Everywhere with everyone. It's, it's amazing, it's exciting. So again, I would like to think, and I'm very honored that I get to do this, that I get to think San Diego State University, Imperial Printers, Los Vigilantes, Imperial Gold, Barry Smith Consulting, and of course my own Victoria Holmes. So thank you. I am so honored to be a part of this. Um, at this time I would like to welcome Victor Nova, executive member. 
Thank you, Michelle. And good evening. It's great seeing everyone in person. Thank you so much for this, your presence and your support for this historical moment. My name is Victor Nava. It's an honor and privilege to be speaking to you today. As an executive board member of the Imperial Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce and the Director of Development and P3 Initiatives for San Diego State University Imperial Valley. I am so excited that the Imperial Valley Regional Chamber has become a reality. The Executive Committee has worked very hard to make this happen. We worked many, many hours weekly and many early mornings. It's important to note through all of this hard work, we got to know each other's market and a better understanding of each other's area's needs. Through this dialogue, we enhance our position and passion to serve the communities we, we serve regionally. Without partnership and commitment, we would not be standing here today. At this time, I would like to thank my fellow executive board members, board of directors, all Imperial Valley Chamber of Commerce members, sponsors, community partners, stakeholders in making this moment possible. Without you and your partnerships, we cannot be successful. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce our Interim Chief Administrative Officer and Interim Dean at SDSU Imperial Valley. He's a masterful, inspireful professor and leader and committed to the Imperial Valley. He was recently awarded the San Diego State University Alumni Distinguished Faculty Award. It's my great pleasure to introduce you to Dr. Mark Wheeler. Good evening, neighbors. Congratulations on this historic achievement. I know from Victor, it's been a lot of hard work over many years. And we are stronger together. We are stronger unified. So to bring the chambers together is an important step in the future of business here. So God bless your efforts. And God bless business in the valley. Business makes lives happen. My wife sitting here is an independent business owner, soon, I think, to be a member of this Woo! regional chamber. <laughs> San Diego State University is very proud to be a partner with the chamber. And my hope is that the San Diego State University Imperial Valley School of Business someday will be in El Central working with the chamber and the region to bring business education at the bachelor's and master's level to the valley, to grow business education, and to grow business in partnership with you, your children, your children's children going into the future. Yes. Yeah. I'd like to thank Daniel for his hard work taking over during the pandemic. We've made it this far through the pandemic. We're gonna make it all the way through. I hope all of you succeed this coming year in your businesses. And I look forward to meeting you and being one of your customers or one of your clients. I live in the Valley now, plan to be here for a long time, plan to be one of your customers. Take care. Okay. I promise there's food in there. I promise. <laughs> this is the this is the uh, test of age, I think. Let's see. Where are we at? Thank you, uh, Dean Wheeler, um, for your leadership at SDSU Imperial Valley, and 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 like that of our partners at our educational institutions, uh, educating the next generation uh, of business leaders uh, needs to start and stay right here in the valley. And we have a fantastic, uh, another fantastic educational partner in our local community college uh, in IVC, Imperial Valley College. And so at this time, I'd like to bring up uh, Interim President Dr. Leonard Johnson, IVC. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. And I just want to thank everyone for being here. Thank you for including IBC into this, um, this wonderful event. 
Um, one thing I want to, I'm a transplant as well. I have been here the last five years and have absolutely, absolutely have loved, love how we collaborate in the Valley and how we come together as one because that is so, so, so powerful. I mean, honestly, I have been in this space for a long time and I have never seen a community come together to support one another and truly be our brother's keeper, our sister's keepers, and make things happen. And I'm gonna cuss right now, so I hope we're being, make shit happen. <laughs> That's what we do. That's what we do. I'm sorry, Father. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing, as I have um, stepped into this role, I made really three major commitments. Three major commitments. One, we need to improve our graduation rates for the Valley. We all know that right now we sit about 15% of bachelor attainment levels. I don't know about you, but that's unacceptable. We have to improve that considerably. One thing that we can do, if we can increase that by 1%, 1%, that will yield approximately one to $2 million in tax revenue. That's a lot of money to the valley, to the valley. And that's gonna help all of our businesses, that money flowing through our businesses and growing our businesses. That's my commitment is I'm gonna work very hard with Dr. Wheeler, Dr. Fennell with ICOE and all our superintendents to make that happen. Because we want to make that sure that <laughs> that transition is seamless for our students from K-12 to Imperial Valley College to San Diego State. The second commitment is IVC has to be the economic engine in a talent development hub for the community. We all see that, you know, that old brain drain, that a lot of our talent is leaving the valley. We need to reverse that. We need to make sure that we're working collaboratively with our businesses and making sure that we're producing local talent so they can stay here and be invested in the valley and continue that, 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 that rich tradition of the valley. And last and finally, I made a commitment that we will be engaged, we will engage in the community. I wanna have a high engagement at the campus and make sure that we all are working in concert like, like the, the Imperial Valley uh, Regional Chamber of Com Commerce. That's how we can be successful because we know working together, we can create big things. That's a powerful force. And that's the purpose of today's event is three units coming together to form a powerhouse. That's right. And we're just excited that we can be a part of that and continue to grow this economy, our businesses, as well as the minds of our children. So thank you all today. We're really excited. I look forward to working with each and one, every one of you. You changed the mood in here. I'm excited now. <laughs> powerhouse. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. Um, at this time, I would like to bring up another sponsor um, who is committed to taking the next generation of educated business leaders from the Valley and employ them right here in the Valley over the next 15 years. Imperial Gold has come into Imperial County uh, with a strong presence, and we are so glad that they have joined the Regional Chamber to make sure uh, we, we are working together uh, to employ people right from here. I'd like to bring up Mark Ledoux, who is the Chief Operating Officer for Imperial Go. Mark. Thank you, Daniel. And uh, I'm conscious that I'm standing between you and food, so I'm gonna keep this short. Um, uh, once again, congratulations to everybody for the unification of several of these uh, entities. Uh, I started coming here about two years ago. We're uh, permitting, developing, and ultimately hoping to build a gold mine uh, actually really close to uh, Luisa's mine down the road from those guys over in the very far eastern part. So uh, I, I myself am a geologist and a mining engineer. I just finished building a, a gold mine over in San Bernardino County. So this is what I do for a living. 
Uh, we've come here. Um, I got Frank Salazar, who's our man here, and Betty Zadary, who's uh, used to work over at the, the, the other gold mine down the road doing our environmental stuff. And uh, thank you for both coming here. Um, we have a footprint of about six people uh, in the valley right now, and we actually just hired uh, a young woman who just graduated uh, in geology. Uh, she's an Imperial High School graduate and then went out, uh, went off, and it's an anti brain drain. We brought her back to do exactly what she's been trained to do, and hopefully, we'll be able to do more. And we hope to be in. We hope to be able to get involved with the, certainly the education groups here to uh, uh, find the trained workforce that we'll want to employ uh, in the future, skilled trades, uh, professionals, all, all, the, all that kind of stuff. I just want to add, when we first came here uh, two years ago, uh, we were looking around for a Chamber of Commerce to join, and I kind of thought there'd be you know one for the entire valley, and then there's all, a bunch of little ones that we uh, talked amongst ourselves and said, well, gee whiz, you know, if, We'd like to support this momentum towards making one unified uh, Chamber of Commerce. So we were always a, a big fan and, and hoping that would happen. So just to wrap up, Daniel, thank you for doing this. It's exactly what we hoped it would be. We see Imperial Valley as a larger uh, entity. That it's uh, it's not a it's it's stronger together. I think all those parts uh, should be joining together and working with one another because I think it'll be a much stronger and a great place to live and. I really enjoy being here and working with you all. Thank you very much. So while we're talking about money and sponsors, uh, we need a light for this podium. So if anyone wants to donate some money, uh, I'm not sure that some of our mayors and our electeds could read their speeches. Um, when we talk about building and, and coming together, uh, the truth is, is that what you're going to see inside this building was the culmination of a lot of people. But again, Victoria Holmes, your dedication um, and commitment financially and just as well as in kind uh, has really made a huge difference. I can't wait for those who have been in the building. Actually, who has been in this building before? Raise your hand. Oh, get ready. <laughs> but alongside Victoria Holmes were some powerhouse people. I like that word, Dr. Johnson, I'm gonna use it. Powerhouse people. Um, a bunch of fine, fine young men, if that's what we're going to call them, um, who didn't really have a home, but today they have a home with the chamber. So you're going to see officially um, the Los Vigilantes Welcome Center. And Mayor uh, Walker, you know that for for the last uh, close to 80 years, well, you're not 80, but <laughs> you, you know that. Uh, the Los Vigilantes, their slogan. I don't know if anyone knows this, but they are the official greeters of the city of El Centro. And so now they have a home here uh, inside our building. We share this building with them. We could not be prouder to say that. They're always there for us. So I'd like to bring up Luis Minor, one of our own, uh, representing the Los Vigilantes. Thank you. He took most of my speech already, I believe. <laughs> Um, for many of you, uh, Los Vigilantes has been around uh, this community for the past 77 years. Uh, we're a civic organization. We're here to help youth. We're here to help the community. We help anyone in need. Um, prior to this, the El Central Chamber of Commerce was our home. Mr. Bill Duflock, our founder, was the founder of this building, the founder of our organization, and with the knowledge, the power, the everything about him, I took it upon myself to reach out, because we were going to be homeless, <laughs> as you know with uh, this banding of the El Centro Chamber. Uh, we made some, can we get, talk to Daniel, the chamber staff, the board members, the directors, and uh, Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and, and, and they accepted our, our pledge, and uh, we get to call this place the Regional Chamber of Commerce, our home. Um, and I want to continue this legacy and let you know that you can reach us here at this office. We'll be here for whatever you need, and we're here for a lifetime. We're going to continue 
serving the community, helping you guys out in whatever need needs you need. Our biggest events are, as you know, the parades. We're those cowboys at the parades, staging and organizing all the chaotic kids that are running around and, and the backstage of the parade. And that's our, one of our main goals here in, in this community. And we fundraise throughout the year and hand out scholarships to, you know, schools, uh, individual kids that come out and reach out to us. And, um, you know, we're a legacy, I believe, you know, and I couldn't be any more prouder than Daniel for supporting this group of guys that's behind me now. And uh, with that in mind, uh, we do have a special presentation. Um, we would like to name Daniel son as an honorary member of Los Vigilantes. <laughs> And just to give you a little history about the organization of honorary members, I'm sure there's been hundreds of them over the last 77 years. But the ones that stick to me from all the documents I've read have been uh, President Ronald Reagan, Woo! President Gerald Ford, Lieutenant Governor Cruz Bustamante, uh, for the Mexican crowd, Lupillo Rivera, has been uh, an honorary member. Uh, uh, SCORE International, Roger Norman is also one of our honorary members. Uh, many um, Navy base uh, chief directors have, are on them. We have a few movie stars. Uh, Me, movie stars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, who's, and Charles Heston is also a, a, an honorary member. So with that in mind, I would like to bring our current ramrod, and we use Western terms. Ramrod is our president. And I didn't plan this. <laughs> this, this is not but planned. <laughs> so we would like to honor Daniel's son as our honorary member, and it's a lifetime of membership at your... Is it free? It's free. <laughs> we, we won't take your, as much time as, you know, I take from the rest of the guys, but... You'll find hundreds of us out in the community. Um, I can see Mr. Mark Grand right behind you, got, in front of me right here. Mr. Jeff Dale back there in the from the city of Imperial. Uh, there's Mr. Under Sheriff Fred Miramontes is out here to my left. You know, uh, Sheriff Raymond Loera is also one of our own members. Um, so we have hundreds of people to you can count out on, and if you need us. We're here. The doors open, and we we're grateful for the Chamber of Commerce, the Regional Chamber, for allowing us to 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 make this our home. You're welcome. <laughs> and, and there's also courtesy waters out here next to the registration table if you need some. <laughs> to say something I've been waiting since 1990 something to say look mom I'm Woody <laughs> thank you very much that was very unexpected Ronald Reagan Gerald Ford wow well the, the, these gentlemen uh, let's hear it again for the Los Vigilantes everyone this is just wow wow okay thank you so now we're on to our special presentations, and then we're going to conclude. These people are between you and food. They're the politicians. But, <laughs> but I will say this to you. We are not. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Let me say this to you. Ann and I have said this. President Irigoyen and I have said this from the very beginning. Ann has said this from the uh, very beginning. Um, and we believe it that our members come first, but what comes as a close second is our partnerships. And our partnerships with our governmental entities and of course our educational institutions are what are going to make us or allow us to be the venue and the vessel to accomplish the goals we want to for our business members. 
Uh, without our partners, we are nothing, and, and we hold them in, in dear partnership. So we're going to go ahead and try and stop from, start from the top. They have some special presentations. We're so glad they are spent their evening with us. And so we're going to start with uh, the office of U.S. Congressman Juan Vargas, representing uh, Congressman Vargas will be Mayor Pro Tem, uh, Tomas Oliva. Good evening, everyone. As was mentioned, my name is Tomas Oliva, and I am here representing Congressman Juan Vargas. As many of you know, in the House of Representatives, we appropriate lots of dollars that are supposed to come to you uh, in order to start your business, to expand your business, uh, and to help you out in tough times. Uh, certainly, our relationship with our chambers of commerce are extremely essential for us to find out what has worked, what has yet to be done, uh, and so I have valued the times that I have sat down with Daniel Son and uh, the Chamber of Commerce to find out what it is that we need to do more of, what we need to continue, to make sure that you are making the investments or your, 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 your connection to capital is there, your ability to expand and, and uh, to better the, the quality of life for you and your families and for our communities is there. So with that said, I, I'm here just to say congratulations uh, for the merger, for in beginning this venture on being together as a region. So on behalf of the 51st Congressional District, on behalf of Congressman Juan Vargas, we just want to say congratulations to the Imperial Valley Chamber of, Regional Chamber of Commerce. Who may I present that to? President. Try to get the nice one for you. <laughs> but if you'll indulge me, we all know that things don't just happen because we wish for them to happen. Uh, it, staff is the one that makes it happen. And so I, I don't think we get an opportunity to recognize the chamber staff as much as we should uh, because they are the ones that you all know. They are the ones that are communicating to our business owners, making sure that they're okay, making sure that they're afloat. So if I can have a moment, I, I have here a certificate of recognition for staff. Can I have Vicky Zamora? Vicky Zamora. They're probably working. <laughs> Vicky, hello. Congratulations. Thank you for everything that you do as being the Chief Financial Officer of the Imperial Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Julissa Ayala, Membership Director. Thank you for all of your years of service on behalf of the Congressman. Thank you so much. Mia. Fernandez, Director of Sponsorship and Events, thank you so much for your dedication to the region. Luis Miner. Luis Miner, Facilities Manager on behalf of the Regional Chamber. Señor, gracias. And of course, to Mr. Daniel Son, the new CEO of the Regional Chamber, the leader of the, of the powerhouse. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The dream team. The dream team. Let's hear it for, Let's hear it for the dream team. Next, I'll call up my colleague Stella Jimenez, who's here representing uh, the state of California. No, no, you stay. Good evening, everyone. My name is Stella Jimenez. I'm the District Director for the Office of Assemblymember Eduardo Garcia. Tonight, I will also be presenting for Senator Benjamin Hueso. I'm very excited to be here um, on such special occasion to congratulate the Imperial Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce. Since their inception, Chambers of Commerce have used a collective voice to uplift the needs of businesses within our communities. We all know the important role that small businesses play in our local economy. They are the backbone of our middle class and provide opportunities for upward economic mobility, both for the owners 
and of course their employees. We look forward to working closely with this United Regional Chamber to support their work as they embark on serving Imperial Valley businesses and promoting community prosperity through advocacy, economic development, connectivity, and business education. Congratulations. So tonight we want to present a certificate to the Chamber, again on behalf of Assemblymember Eduardo Garcia and Senator Ben Hueso. To present it to Imperial Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce in recognition and celebration of your grand opening slash ribbon cutting, and with sincere appreciation for serving the businesses within the County of Imperial, wishing you many, many years of success. Signed Assemblymember Eduardo Garcia. And from Senator Ben Hueso, presented to Imperial Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce, be it resolved by California State Senator Ben Hueso that the Imperial Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce be acknowledged for their grand opening and for your effort on tying our community together for creating an environment in which businesses can prosper and improving the life of our community. Congratulations on receiving this great honor. Signed, as Senator Ben Wiz. And just as my colleague mentioned, this could not be possible without the hard work and dedication of the team. And so with that, we'd like to present certificates to Chief Executive Officer, Daniel Sung. And they'll be receiving certificates from both the Senate and the Assembly. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Vicky Zamora. Julissa Ayala. Mia Hernandez. And Luis Minor. Thank you, and have a good evening. Oh, thank you so much. Our heads are not going to fit through this door. Okay. Wow. I asked for one, Madam President. One from every... Not... Okay. Thank you. This is amazing. Okay. Okay, here we go. So we're down to the County of Imperial. The County of Imperial um, has been such a great support system for us. And I think I see, before we bring up Supervisor Plincarte, I, I have to give some credit to uh, our, our County Administrator or, or Executive and Deputy Executive, uh, Tony and um, Esperanza. Are you here? They were? Let's give them a round of applause. And of course, uh, the county's uh, public information officer, Gil Revelar. <laughs> Supervisor Plincarte, I think you have something for the county, for us. Thank you, Madam President. First, let me take this out of this custom-made uh, container. So I was looking at the uh, certificates that were presented by the Fed and by the state, and I saw how big they were and how great they are, and they're legible in the dark. So I am going to summarize, uh, because I cannot see the size text. Okay. Uh, but before I do that, uh, obviously Imperial County, here we go, thank you. Uh, Imperial County, here, I'll, I'll, uh, on behalf of the Imperial County Board of Supervisors and all the five districts that we represent, uh, we are very glad uh, to see the formation uh, of this regional chamber. As you know, we represent every corner, and as such, it's our responsibility to help uh, every resident, every business, and do everything we can to make our community succeed. I know that my fellow supervisors would have loved to be here this evening, however, uh, they are doing the same elsewhere with other projects that are going on as our community begins and continues to recover uh, from COVID. Uh, we understand that 
uh, we have we celebrate our businesses, our organizations, and everything that they do for the community. Not just the employment, but listen, you get out there and you see kids' sports and sponsorships and just everything that happens out there. That business helps uh, helps us drive. Uh, and with that in mind, uh, Imperial County Board of Supervisors would like to pass a resolution recognizing today, this 14, actually this is the day that it passed, the 14th day of September of 2021 uh, as uh, Enterprise and Commerce Day. Um, this was passed and adopted by an affirmative role and uh, obviously uh, unanimously voted upon. We look forward to working with the Chamber and using the Chamber uh, as a resource to get all that information that will follow as our recovery begins to come about. Uh, it's been a tough fight for the 18 months. As you know, last year I was a chairman of the board uh, and kind of got the brunt of COVID and, and, and the big waves that we got. Uh, we're still fighting, we're still trying to protect our community. Uh, and every day it seems that we get better and better. And uh, for those of you that believe this too shall pass and we will be much better for it. So with that, on behalf of the Imperial County Board of Supervisors, I would like to report, uh, to present this to you. Uh, it, it does come with a custom-made case. Uh, maybe non-legible, but it does come with, uh, uh, with the respect and, and the support that it needs. So before you walk away. <laughs> thank you. Our next presenter is no stranger to you all, and I have to tell you I had the privilege, and I, and I mean that, the privilege of seeing this powerhouse leader lead the rest of our state and our municipalities. Um, she is no longer, she is the immediate past president of the California League of Cities. And I have to tell you how much respect her colleagues from across the state have for you. I don't know if you get to hear that, but we did, and, and, and the regional chamber wanted to be present to get ahead of the policy, but to be there to support you in particular. And so we were so proud to have our hometown mayor as president leading a fantastic conference. And uh, you need to know how much your colleagues from across the state respect you. So let's give uh, Mayor Walker a round of applause. I'm gonna bring you up to City of El Centro. Thank you, Daniel, for those kind words. What a celebration, right? I mean, we are so happy to be here, not only to recognize the hard work to bring together the United uh, Chambers, but also to celebrate all of you, um, members of our community and our businesses. What a, a last 18 months the last 18 months has taught us so much about resilience, about coming together as a community, about supporting one another. No one does it better. No one does it better than the Imperial Valley. There is no challenge too, too large that we have not overcome successfully together. And speaking of together, I am so proud to see all five members of your El Centro City Council here yes. this evening. Yeah. Council Member Edgar Garcia, if you could please stand. Sylvia Marroquin, we have Martha Cardenas Singh, and we have uh, Mayor Pro Tem Tomas Oliva. We also have our city manager, just a, a tremendous leader, uh, Marcella Piedra. I believe I saw our acting fire chief here as well. Um, I'm just wanting to make sure that all of our city employees and the council are um, acknowledged uh, because we're your landlord, um, just so you know. Um, <laughs> 40 years. 40 years. Um, this actually is on, is on city property and I believe your rent is a dollar a year, ten dollars a year. Um, the City of El Centro has always had a very strong relationship with its chamber, and we look forward to continuing that very strong, vibrant relationship as you come together as a regional body. Um, I, I thought that was pretty cool. You made uh, the lighting so hard that I can't read. Oh, I can read all these whereases, but I'm not going to because I get, but I do want to say 
um, we are supporting you and providing a proclamation to the Imperial Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce and declaring today, uh, September 30, 2021, as Imperial Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce Day in the city of El Centro. Congratulations. Mayor Walker. And yeah, I want to give a personal shout out to Adriana and her team. Nava, let's hear it for the City of El Centro staff. Uh, what you see here is a lot of their work, and it is true. Uh, it is true. Uh, municipal staff, uh, you work just as hard, and, and we're just so glad that we get to work alongside you as staff at the Chamber. You really make it a pleasure, so thank you. Um, let's go ahead and bring up my mayor, City of Imperial, Mayor uh, Karim Eugenio. Good evening, my name is uh, Karim Eugenio, I'm the mayor of the city of Imperial. Uh, thank you all for being here this evening. It's great to see you all in person as opposed to tiny little blips on a computer screen. Um, if you had asked me four, three, almost four years ago, if I would be willing to be the mayor of a city during a global pandemic, believe me, you would not be, you would not see me standing here today. So thank you to all the leaders who have stepped up during this very difficult time. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge some of my uh, fellow City of Imperial people. Uh, Dennis Morita, our city manager. I don't know if you're still here, but you're amazing. We love you. Thank you. Our assistant city manager, Alexis Brown. Thank you for all you do. My mayor pro tem, Jeff Dale. I don't know where you are, but thank you. There you are. Uh, Council member Robert Ambrano. Thank you. Council member Katie Burnworth. Thank you. Uh, and I'd also like to briefly acknowledge my fellow educators. I've had the privilege of teaching at Imperial Valley College since 2010. Uh, thank you, Father Edney, for being here. Uh, thank you, Dr. Johnson. And I agree with you what you said about the statistics. Our 15% of graduated um, uh, body here, uh, uh, being less than 15% is just unacceptable. We must create commerce that meets the needs of our educated population. So more than that, less than 4% of our population has graduate degrees. So we, we do need to do better, I agree. Thank you, Dr. Wheeler from San Diego State as well. Nice to meet you in person. Um, I will make this short and sweet. I know I'm one of the few entities standing between you and food, so I will make this quick. Um, this regional chamber symbolizes a new and renewed relationship between the city of Imperial and the future prosperity of our businesses. In a community like ours, we value our businesses tremend tremendously. We know our business owners, they are our friends, our neighbors, our peers. Uh, so I'm ecstatic to be part of this mutual blending of goals and visions, not only for Imperial, but El Centro and Westmoreland as well. Uh, many people have witnessed some of the broken state we had arrived at with our former uh, Imperial Chamber, and this collaboration symbolizes not only a mend for us, but prosperity for our region. Uh, Daniel Stone, yes. <laughs> uh, thank you for your positivity, optimism, and the experience you bring to our valley. We are truly grateful. We are very thankful to have you. We are incredibly fortunate uh, to have you here, and I look forward to seeing what the future brings for, for all of us. To commemorate this occasion, we have also made a proclamation in the city of Imperial. I will not read the whole thing. Uh... We've got so many, we just lost them. I forgot. <laughs> there. Enterprise and Commerce family. Okay. Um, <laughs> Fortunately for you, you don't have it, but we did. We don't have it, but we uh, did create a, a commerce day to, to um, initiate the, the collaboration between us and the chamber, regional chamber of commerce. So, um, thank you all for what you do. Thank you to the staff um, at this regional chamber, and we look forward again to this venture and collaboration. Good night. got so many tonight. <laughs> it's here. I just, I don't know. Mayor, we will make another opportunity for the presentation in a little bit. We're going to find it. All the way from the city of Westmoreland, 
Anna. Mayor Anna Boucher and everyone. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ana Beltran, City of Westmoreland Mayor. All technology staff that is here today. Our city clerk, Carleen Berber, will be here. Our public health supervisor, Ramiro Barajas. Our city council member, Tina Justina Cruz. Okay, and then we have a proclamation we'd like to present to the chambers. It says, whereas small cities and towns under 50,000 Population are the home to millions of Americans and constitute the vast majority of municipalities across the United States. And whereas small cities and towns strive to threaten, correct, and strengthen their communities through the provision of services and programs to improve the quality of life for all citizens. And whereas the Imperial Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce is an essential partner in the, sort, in the success of small cities and towns. I must encourage to continue to support programs that strengthen small communities. And whereas organizations, businesses, and citizens are partners in the success of small cities and towns, I must encourage to continue to grow their efforts to make small communities a viable choice for people to live in. And whereas during these challenging economic times, the need for renewed municipalities, partnerships to support essential public services is more important than ever to ensure the safety and growth of small town America. And whereas the Imperial Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce is dedicated to serving Imperial Valley businesses and promoting community prosperity through advocacy, economic development, connectivity, and business education. Whereas the mayor and the city council of the city of Westmoreland have declared September 2021 as Imperial Valley Regional Commerce Month. Now, therefore, I, Ana Betran, Mayor of the City of Westmoreland, State of California, do hereby proclaim September 2021 as the Imperial Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce Month in the City of Westmoreland and encourages President Biden, Congress, state government, governments, organizations, businesses, and all citizens to recognize this event and to work together this month and throughout the year to invest small cities and towns to better the lives of all citizens. Mayor Eugenio to come back up with our representatives from Imperial, Sean Wilcock and Michelle Hollinger to take a photo. So if you all could grab that real quick, that would be great. Okay, this is the last one. This is, I think, the most important one. Can I have all the executive board members behind me, please? Thank you. You all have worked extremely, extremely hard, um, as well as you all have board members in the front row. And so I bring greetings in my capacity as founding CEO of the IVRCC from our California Chamber President and CEO who will be retiring at the end of the year, Alan Zarenberg. And he sends a message of congratula congratulations. The California Chamber of Commerce would like to extend our congratulations to the Imperial Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce on your successful merger and grand opening. We recognize the hard work and dedication of your executive board and your staff during this transition. We wish you continued success and look forward to working alongside you as your partner as we advocate together on behalf of California businesses. Signed, Alan Zarenberg. And he presents you with your official <laughs> chamber membership with the California Chamber. So we're gonna take a photo. Oh, 
Yeah, you might get up. The vigilante is up here. We're going to move the podium and actually do the ribbon cutting. If I could have the full executive, the full board in the front up here as well. And then everybody that's up here on the dais. Vigilantes, I need you. My gentlemen, please. We're, we're going to move this. Yep. <laughs> if our uh, special guest could join the uh, board, Mayor, Supervisor McCarthy, Vigilantes, after we move that, we can move those as well. The full board, staff. We're gonna try and crowd, and we're gonna move those. If we can move these. Can we move the um, signs? Yeah, thank you. Is there media here? Yeah, you're here. <laughs> if some of your cities can come too, if you're a city staff and you wanna get this photo, now would be the time to do so.
do it. Lock air conditioning. Keep the valley cool. Since 79.